Alright guys, so today I'm gonna do cage tour of my hamster. It's um a 325 square inch. A little bit smaller than the usual. Um so to start off, here's her her wheel, steel wheel. Um this homemade bed, restaurant, whatever you gonna call it, has some food in there. She can still get scared. Hanging by paper clip. Then we have the second floor. We have this homemade like some type of house made out of sock. Old sock that I don't use no more. Just like to make it strong from the edge I put um what's it called? A strip of cardboard glued it on and she can get in there. She has some food in there too. Some soil in her cup. Some fresh oil. Um, down here we have her water bottle. We have a house. She gets up here and drinks out of there. Then we have this kind of bedding. I don't know what it's called. It goes under there. Then we have this homemade um, I think it's called a fiddle stick, I'm not sure. It's made of 100% um, um, I'm sorry, um, I forgot what it's called. I'm so sorry. Um, it's called, well it's just um, some branch, some metal branch, homemade um, wire. They make holes on the sides of each um, stick and just like stick the wire and fold it. Just fold it any way you want. Under here she has another one like these. But this one doesn't have a hole, so it makes like a little hut house. And this one does have a hole, so it makes a tunnel on both sides holes. There's one hole over there. She could go in and get out through here. She has some food in there too. Um, then she has her sun, her sand tub. You see, she can get some sun bath. Some, yeah, sand bath. She likes it a lot. She probably she put the oil. But she likes to put sun in the too. Then her bedding is made out of do-it-yourself bedding. Just with some paper and wire. And some wood shavings. And I barely cleaned her cage because I don't want her to mess it up. But I think it looks nice right now. But when she goes in, she just, just destroys everything. <laughs> Uh, her cage is super pet, so is her water bottle. This is supposed to be a rat cage, but I bought it for her. Mm, not, not, she's a siren hamster, here she is. She's a female, two years old. She's on a ball. Um, she made that hole by herself. I put some cardboard on the back, taped it on the back. Or so she has to keep to it, but she has it no more. Mm, what else? Up here too, a wire broke up with some tape, but she doesn't bite her. She, this has been about like for a year already, this tape, having to clean it off. And yeah, she used to escape through here too. This cage has been used by a lot of hamsters and she's the first one who destroyed it. <laughs> she's a little bit of like that. Her cage. So yeah. That's pretty much all guys. Um I cage her cage I change her cage every mm, fifteen days. I believe changed to today, Monday. Her name is her name is Sharpie. Let's see. And let's put her in, let's see, to, so she could go around and explore. Um, so I forgot to say some things, guys. Um, to start off, I know the cage is small, small for a dwarf hamster and for a siren hamster. Um, I am, um, saving up to buy her, I think it's about like a 40 gallon tank 
uh, I forgot to mention too that the wheel's bad. Uh, she's squeaky, you know, it's bad. Her foot, she could get mm, her foot, you know, infected foot, like bumbling, start bleeding. Uh, I once had a hamster named Fluid, Mel. She did have, he did have a bumper foot because of this. So, yeah, I'm gonna change that too. Um, so, so, the way she gets up here is through here. She could go through here. Go up here and then um, to the second floor. Um, there was this one time I didn't put no ladder, nothing. She just climbs the bars and gets up there. So it, that's easier for her now. It's a good thing. She can make exercise. Do some exercise. So she won't be a lazy potato couch. <laughs> I mean a couch potato. My bad. <laughs> I said it backwards. Sorry. Mm, what else was gonna I say? Well, I think that's all guys, you know. She's having fun exploring around. Thanks all. <laughs> Her name is Fiona. She's two years old too. Chihuahua, no tail. She was born like that. Female. Fiona, she wants to get out. I'll take her out. Let's go, Fiona. Let's go, Fiona. Let's go, Fiona. <laughs> oh, <laughs> close one. Well, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Where's she at right now? Yeah, she's over there. I, I had some food over there too. Oh, uh, oh yeah. I remember the other thing. Uh, I don't have a what's it called? Uh, food dish or food bowl, whatever you guys want to call it for her. I scatter it around, or I sometimes just like, for example, right now I have it right here. Or I have it inside this thing. I could put it under the the sand, under the soil, under the in her house, on top of her house. I could put a lot of places, and I know that she's eating that, um, everything, and I know how much to give her, because I already know her a lot, pretty well, two years old, <laughs> two years with me already, got her like when she was one month old, or two months old, she was pretty small, oh yeah, and the, uh, another thing I wanted to say is that, I called her Sharpie, because when we got her, she was really small, and sh her body was all black with the, uh, the white, the white stripe on the middle, but now that she grew up, she's brown, brown with white. So she changed color, I guess. I <laughs> have to change it to brownie. <laughs> nah, but I like that name, Sharpie. So yeah, that's pretty much all, guys. Forgot to say.